Hey guys, Pogosick29 here. Welcome to episode 14. Um, in this episode, we are going to learn how to make our configuration file reloadable by adding a uh, configuration to our announcer plugin and adding a command that allows it to be reloaded. So in a lot of plugins you've probably seen, you're able to uh, execute a command that will reload the configuration. So if you change it and you don't want to reload or restart your server, you can use a reload command inside of the plugin. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. First, right up here, you're going to want to write file configuration config and file c file. Now, and make sure you import java.io.file. You can call these whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to call it. So in our on enable, we're going to say config equals get config. So now basically we're saying that this configuration, this config object is equal to, you know, whatever the uh, configuration is for this plugin. Then we're going to say config.options.copy defaults true, and then just save config like, like usual. And then we're going to say C file equals new file get plugin directory oops comma config.yml I think no sorry that's get I believe it's get file directory no get what is it Uh, hang on for one second. Sorry about that, it's get data folder. Okay, so now what we've done is we've declared our config object, we've, you know, copied the default options and saved it so it generates a configuration file, and then we're saying that, that this C file, this file, is equal to the um, getting the file at the data folder, which is in plugins, the folder that's the name of the plugin, and then config.yml. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, instead of get config, we're going to say config.getString um, announcement. Because for this, we're just going to have one string with an announcement. Now, normally, you would want to have a, a, a list of strings and, you know, cycle through them. But this is just going to be a simple um, tutorial. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our public boolean on command. Command sender, sender, command cmd, string, command label, string, args. And let's go ahead and import everything. Okay, so now if cmd.getName equals ignore case, I'm just going to call this ann reload. Now normally what you could do is you could have an announcer command and then you could use that to be able to set different things in the con configuration like adding new um, announcements or um, adding, uh, you know, whatever. But this is just going to be simple. Then we're going to say config equals yaml configuration dot load configuration c file and then we're going to say sender dot send message chat color dot green plus reloaded announcer config so now what we've just done is we're saying that this configure this config object is equal to we're getting this um, YML configuration and we're loading the configuration of the C file of that file that we declared before. So now basically um, instead of doing get config which returns whatever oops instead of doing get config which returns you know the uh, configuration as it is once it loads you're creating your own little configuration object that you have the ability to modify. So let's go ahead and quickly make our config.yml file and close out of this. So config.yml and we're going to have announcement 
announcement. Okay, this is a test. Okay, and then in our plugin.yml, we need to register our new command. ann reload uh, usage slash command. Um, and then we're just going to say description reload announcer config. Okay. So now let's go ahead and export our announcer. And then we're going to go to our testing server and start it up. Let's go back in here. And okay, so everything started up, and as you can see, it is now saying this is a test, and every five seconds it's going to keep saying this is a test. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, change something in the configuration, and then we're going to use our command to reload it. So this, um, so here's another, we're just going to say this is test number two. And go ahead and save that, and then we're going to do ANN reload. Reloaded, an, uh, I spelled announcer wrong. Reloaded announcer config. And as you can see, it's now saying this is test number two, and I didn't even have to restart the server or reload it. So uh, that's all, guys. In this video, you learned how to make a, uh, a reloadable, you learned how to um, make the configuration file in your plugins reloadable. I would suggest doing this for all of your plugins since it makes them easier to manage so you don't have to reload or restart your server uh, every time you change something. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment what you want to learn, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.